Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an updated morning routine. It's been a few years since I did my last one, so I'm excited to share with you my updated routine. I wanna thank Elemis for partnering with me on this video. Elemis is one of my favorite skincare brands and I do have a discount code coming up for you guys later. So generally speaking, my morning routine starts off at around about 7 a.m. In summer, it's a little bit later, um, but I always try and do 7 a.m. in winter just to make use of all the daylight hours because there aren't all that many of them so I will usually hit the snooze button once but I try and be fairly disciplined about getting up at around 7 a.m. just because that allows me enough time to work out before the day starts. Dan does get up a little bit later than me so I generally leave him to it and then I head on downstairs to get ready for my workout. So first things first and very important, I tie my hair back and I brush my teeth. I generally speaking will try and get ready for my workout before heading downstairs and checking emails just because I found that when I would go downstairs in my pajamas I would just stay there for a lot longer than if I was ready to go with my workout clothing. So get my hair up, get my teeth brushed and then I will change it into my workout clothes. I do try and go for more colorful pieces, but I'm not gonna lie, a go-to for me is always just an all black workout outfit, just really easy and I don't have to worry too much about matching. I do like the odd colorful sports bra, but as you can see, a large part of my sports bra drawer is just black sports bras. So I just go ahead and pick one out that I like and then get changed ready for my workout. I do try and be disciplined about putting my clothes away as I go along. I'm not always successful at it, but I definitely find it helps to tidy as you go along. Otherwise it does just seem to mount up. I pop on a sweatshirt because it does get a little bit nippy on our house now. And then I head on downstairs. So the first thing I do when I head downstairs is I grab my pre-workout snack. This isn't really a full breakfast for me, it's just a little something because I don't generally like to work out on a completely empty stomach. I am a huge fan of coffee but I am a very very slow coffee drinker so I prefer just to have a little bit of Energize which is a kind of beach body supplement drink. I add it with water and it just gives me that caffeine boost but without taking ages to drink a cup of coffee. I'll then have that along with a banana and then I'll just go through and check my emails on my phone. I try not to go on my laptop straight away because again, I find I just kind of get sucked into it and I can be there for hours. So I just try and do a quick glance on my phone whilst I'm having my Energize and my banana just before my workout. I then switch on the TV and I'm still loving and doing the Beachbody program 21 day fix. I was getting some questions about if I mix up and honestly I just do this program on repeat. I am going to try a new program in the new year but at the moment I'm still loving this one so much and it really does depend on how much you put in so it never seems to get boring and I never get tired of it because it really is a case of what you put in is what you get out of it. And off to the races we go. So this is my little warm up and today's workout was Lower Fix Extreme, one of my favorites. I'm always such a huge fan of the weighted workouts. Not such a fan of the cardio, but I still try and get it done. But like I said, what I love about these workouts is the fact that it doesn't seem to matter what level you're at. You know, I did this program when I was still just beginning my fitness journey. I found it very challenging then and I still find it very, very challenging now. A little tip to any of you just starting a program, always try and have a mirror nearby. You'll see me occasionally glance to my left and that's check my form in the mirror, something I still do constantly because it's just so important. As you can probably tell from the phases that I'm pulling, I still absolutely find this workout a challenge and it just never really seems to get easy, which is exactly what I want from my workouts. But happily they are only 30 minutes long, so you're just in and out and then I can get on with my day. And here I am just putting my office back together again. As you can see, the front room is very much a multi-purpose space, but it works just fine for all the different needs. And it just takes a little bit of maneuvering with the furniture. So 
So the first thing I do after finishing my workout is I wash my face. Always so important to do, try and prevent breakouts, especially if you're sweating a lot. I am still using and loving my Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I've used this cleanser for, I think it's a full year now pretty much, and I just love it. I have the unscented version as well, and it's one of the best cleansers I've ever used. It feels so great on the skin. It genuinely feels like such a lovely pampering experience leaves your skin so incredibly clean and soft, but it doesn't ever make it feel tight either. So I love that balance and it's just absolutely fantastic. I then pop in the shower and I know lots of people will cleanse after a shower, but for some reason I just prefer to do it before. So that's the only part of my skincare routine I do before I shower and then I complete the rest after I finish showering. So here I am just drying my hair with my little hair drying towel. Would highly recommend this one as well. It is truly fantastic. I then go straight into my skincare routine and for any of you who have followed me for a while, you will know that I really love my skincare and really try and make an effort in terms of taking care of my skin. So my first step is always my new face. I really try and keep up with this because I do think that it makes such a difference and I love it. My second step is to apply an essence. This is a new one that I've been trying out from Elemis and I absolutely love it. I love essences. I think they're such an underrated part of skincare routines. They just feel so great on the skin and because they are a little bit thinner, you can really layer them and it's just a really, really nice buffer in between your cleansing and any serums and moisturizers you may use. So I try and pop this not only on my face, but also on my neck. Again, the neck is always so neglected, so I always try to take care of it. And then I also layer in my other essence that I've been using and loving. This is a Korean one and it goes fantastically. Again, they're very, very thin, so you're not going to have to worry about kind of any piling or anything like that. They go on very, very seamlessly. And then I go ahead and use my Pro Collagen Neck Balm. I love this thing. I've been obsessed with it ever since I got it. It is such a fantastic product, especially if you're like me and you really want to take care of your neck. Definitely one of my favorite recent skincare discoveries. My next step, and try not to think I'm too crazy here, but I always try and do a neck routine. I know it sounds so crazy, but it's an exercise I found on Twitter. I will pop the link below and I do this every day just to try and make sure that I'm keeping my neck in good condition. Condition. My next step is to use my skin SkinCeuticals product. So I use these to tackle pigmentation. It is a lifelong struggle against pigmentation if you have skin like mine. So I try to really stay on top of it. And these two products I've spoken about before, and they really do help kind of prevent and correct any pigmentation. And then I get to my moisturizer. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream with SPF and I absolutely love this entire line because even though it is incredibly moisturizing, it's not overly thick. And as you can see, I do use a lot of products on my skin, so I don't want anything that's overly thick that's really kind of gonna sit on my skin. This absorbs really quickly and it just has the nicest texture and it's not so thick that I can't wear it with other products or it's gonna feel too heavy with sunscreen. And then my very final part of my skincare routine and so incredibly important is sunscreen. I wear this every single day, even if I'm not going out, just such an important part of anyone's skincare routine. So this is a must for me every morning. As mentioned, I do have a discount code for you guys. You can take 25% off your order at Elemis with the code Amy25. As I mentioned, Elemis are one of my favorite skincare discoveries of the past year. Their products are just so high quality and I've just been so impressed with every single one I use. And they're now just an absolute mainstay of my skincare routine. Next up is time for breakfast, and during December, this also includes opening my advent calendar. I try not to have my chocolate until later on in the day, but I get far too excited, so I pretty much always open it in the morning just to see what I got. Today was a good day, it was a little reindeer. Many of you will have seen our breakfast routine many times, but it is just the same old thing of our berry bowl. I just chop up some fresh berries, and then I pan fry them with a little bit of maple syrup and a little bit of cinnamon, and it makes for the most delicious breakfast bowl. So I just cook the berries on a medium high heat and then I'll go ahead and add a fair amount of cinnamon. You can add as little or as much as you want. We love cinnamon so I tend to add a lot to our berries. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and add a tiny bit of maple syrup. I'm literally talking about one teaspoon. It's hardly any but when you do heat up maple syrup it actually becomes very thin so it really spreads out and that's all the sweetness you need really. You don't need to add anything more because the berries are quite sweet themselves. I 
I will then go ahead and make some coffee and Dan a tea. We usually split the duties so that he does all clean up and I do most of the cooking. And here is my wonderful coffee machine, which I'd recommend to anyone. This is the Dura E8 and it's just my favorite thing. And every single day I will make myself an almond milk latte, which I absolutely love. So making our berry bowls. So I just spoon out the berries into a little breakfast bowl and then I will add in some Greek yogurt. Um, when I was trying to lose a little bit of weight, I did go for low fat, but now we've switched the full fat stuff, which is pretty delicious. I'm not gonna lie. So I don't think we're ever gonna switch back. I then add on a little bit of granola to our bowls and that's pretty much it. Just really simple, but it's very, very filling and very delicious. Dan is there with his Harry Potter mug and happily just munching away. We do run a business together, so we do try to use breakfast to catch up on anything that we need to, uh, but today we got a little bit distracted because we were going out to dinner, so we were planning what we were going to eat from the menu. I don't know if anyone else does this, but we're pretty much incapable of visiting a restaurant without choosing what we're going to have first with the menu online. Don't know if that's just us, but yeah, it's something we pretty much always do. Now on to actually getting ready for the day. So I do rough dry my hair just to get it about, I'd say 80% to 90% dry. And then I'll usually do my makeup and then finish styling it. I like to take that break just to make sure that my hair is super, super dry before either curling it or actually blow drying it into a style. So my routine pretty much hasn't changed too much from a couple of years ago. Um, I just first apply my foundation. The foundation I use is the Armani Luminous Silk, which I still absolutely love. Offers really nice coverage, but without feeling too thick or too heavy. I apply this with my Hourglass Foundation Brush, which I got last year for Christmas from my mum, and I love it. I've never really liked any foundation brush except this one, but it is truly fantastic. I then go ahead and apply a little bit of under eye concealer. Next up, I set my makeup and I'm still using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. I love this thing. I've used it for years and it's still my favorite setting powder. I then go ahead and add a little bit of blush. This is the Hermes one, which I still really like. Definitely a pricey one, but it has a really lovely finish. I then pop on a little bit of lipstick and I love the Dior Stella Shine one, which is kind of in between a lipstick and a lip balm. And then I add on a little bit of eyebrow pencil. I still use the Suku one and I absolutely love it. Just a really easy one to apply. I then pop on a little bit of eyeshadow and I always start off with the NARS eyeshadow primer base just because I do tend to have oily lids so it really helps the eyeshadow to stay put. The eyeshadow I use is still the Tom Ford New Dip Quad. I've used this for absolute years. I've repurchased it so many times and it's just such a pretty neutral for every day but you can really build it up for a heavier nighttime look if you want as well. And then my finishing touch is always a liquid eyeliner. The one I'm using at the moment is from 2020 and it's just a really nice thick black eyeliner. I do like my eyeliners to be very, very black indeed. So this one's great. And then finally, a little bit of pencil eyeliner and then my whole look is finished in terms of makeup. And then I'll go ahead and just finish off my hair by blow drying a little bit. You guys will know I curl my hair a lot, but when it's just day to day or if I'm just having Zoom meetings, then I'll just go ahead and blow dry it straight. And then I add just a little bit of dry shampoo for some volume and then a little bit of hairspray as well. And that's pretty much it for the rest of my day. I wouldn't usually put on this much makeup, but I was going out later with Dan. So I decided just to do my makeup for the day, but I will always apply a little bit, especially if I have Zoom calls. And that's pretty much it. So the rest of my morning is usually just spent replying to emails, catching up with calls and usually having a bit of a chat with Dan as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this sort of peek into my morning routine. Let me know if you'd like to see an evening routine in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.